Boom, boom, there. Nice. Hello and welcome. You're watching Tips Tuesday. And in this episode, we're showing you how to address the ball. I'm Terry Pilkadaris. And I'm Rory here. And combined, we have four Asian tour wins and 20 years experience on tour. In this video, we're gonna explain how to address the ball. We'll break this down into three key steps that if you combine, should help you to drive the ball better. Hopefully, once you've watched this video, you'll understand how to address the ball. Step one, ball position. Ball position changes for each club you're using. When you're using a wedge, you're gonna be closer to the middle of the stance, and the longer the club, the further forward it goes. So Rory, you've got a wedge in your hand. Where do you like to have your ball position? Well, I normally like to have it in the middle of my stance because we've got a wedge here, which has more loft than the other clubs. So what you're trying to do with a wedge is normally you try to hit, you'll be trying to hit it down on the ball and de-lofting it slightly. So that's why I like it in the middle of my stance. Okay, so now we've got a seven iron here. So if we put a seven iron in, where would your ball position be for a seven iron? For a seven iron or a mid iron, I'd like to have it one ball forward of where it was from my wedge. So it would approximately be right about there. Okay, so now this is going more from your nose, closer to your to your, your left ear. Yeah, that's correct. For a seven iron position. Now, if then we've got the driver, give your driver, where does this position normally go? So with this club, I'd have it on the inside of my left heel. It will be the furthest forward ball position for me, for any club, because the driver has the least amount of loft on the club, and you want to be hitting up on the ball. Perfect. So now, guys, if you're struggling with trying to get your ball position, a good way to use it is get some alignment sticks and put them on the ground as this shape here, and that can determine your ball position. Step two, distance from the ball. As you can see, Rory's got three different clubs here. We've got a wedge, a seven iron, and a driver, all different lengths. This means you've got to stand a different distance from the ball each time. So I'm going to run through each and every one of them. So got the ball here for you, Rory. So start with a wedge. As the wedge is the shortest club in the bag, you're going to be bent over slightly. So we're going to do our little test again with our right hand on the knee. And that Each and every time that checks your balance point. That's the most balanced point in the golf swing. And as you see, Rory is bent over more here and he's in a stable position. As we go back on our reference, the ball position is in the middle of the stance. Now we move on to the seven iron. Again, Rory's gonna do the test with his right hand on his right knee. And as you can see in the previous video, he's gonna be slightly taller at address. Now we go to driver. It's the same thing. We're always checking how far from the ball we are by putting your right hand on the knee, letting the hands hang down in a, in a nice balanced position. You don't want to be reaching for it, so if Rory bends over more, and then the club's going to be reaching out here, you want to feel as though you've got your balance point. Step three, stance width. Now, we've got three different clubs. We've got pitching wedge, seven iron, and driver. All of them are going to have different widths of stance. So we're going to start with the short iron first, we're going to go with the pitching wedge. Generally with the pitching wedge, our stance is going to be slightly inside the shoulder shoulder width apart. Do you feel that, Rory? What do you feel with your wedge? More level or even slightly inclined towards the target, so it helps me hit down on the ball. With a wedge, it's not you're not trying to get distance, you're just trying to get control, so I feel like that's where it's okay for me to narrow up my stance a little bit. Okay, so and the general rule here is with a wedge, you're gonna have about 60, 60% of your weight on your left leg. Okay, now we're rolling into the seven iron. Now the width of stance is now going to get slightly wider because you're going to use a little bit more rotation with the body, there's a little bit more pressure in the golf swing. So what are you feeling there, Rory, compared to the pitching wedge? So I'm feeling 50-50 on my address right now and also a little bit wider, like you said, with, with the stance. Finally, we've got the driver. Stance width is its widest because you're using the most force in the golf swing. So as Rory sets up to this, his stance is, so if you go through your shoulder line, it's going to go just inside the left foot, or the right foot and the left foot. What's your weight distribution like here? So with the driver, I feel like my body's inclined more to the right side, so it helps me hit the ball up 
I feel like I have 60% of my weight on my right side, so I feel like I'm a little bit more in, I'm a little bit inclined this way versus with the shorter irons where you're inclined more this way. I'll take that. Oh, it's still going. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comments below. Don't forget to click on the Asian Troll logo to subscribe and click on the link for another video.